So welcome back everybody to Farm Sim 22. Clearly not on Goldcrest Valley. Uh, we're on a map called Deerlands, uh, but a bit more of that in a moment. Uh, first off, a big shout out to all our subscribers and usual viewers, welcome along. Uh, but also a shout out to Dirt Farmer. Uh, thank you for the new subscription. Uh, I see from your YouTube channel you're a real farmer who likes playing Farm Sim. So uh, you get to deal with the uh, crop failures and uh, animal sickness and all that. Uh, and that probably causes you far more stress than anybody playing farm sim. So welcome along. Thanks for your subscription. So Deerlands, this is the map we're on. I'll show you what the setup is. Uh, we're going to uh, start from scratch. Uh, just kind of going into the setup. It says 28 days. I must have clicked the wrong button there. We're going to two days for a season. Uh, seasonal growth is on all that kind of thing. Starting from scratch means it does change one or two things. Uh, Dirt, not dirt, I'm not bothered about dirt. Economy difficulty, normally on start from scratch is on hard. I've gone to normal because we want to make some money. And as we realised on Goldcrest Valley, it, it does take some time to kind of start pulling money in. We're not doing field stone, we're not doing weeds because they don't normally do those anyway. Uh, fuel usage I've gone for high. Uh, stop and go braking, I always leave that on. And all this, this is the uh, repair and paint mod. I put those down to 25%. I don't know if that's the right way around, but it seems to be all right for me. So it lessens how much you have to pay and when you have to pay to repair or repaint things. I think that's all of that. Uh, this is the map. Uh, this area besides field one and two, right in the middle of the map here, let me zoom in a bit. Uh, this is where our farm is actually gonna be eventually. Now, the reason I say eventually is I always have this rule for myself that I won't buy a piece of land that's got a crop in the field. Uh, so if you look at that, in actual fact, that's got that uh, land in it. That one's been harvested, I think. <coughs> but number two is waiting. So once that's harvested, whatever happens to field one, if they replant it, tough. Uh, but we're actually going to buy that piece of land. The other thing you'll find is, if you do this map, uh, let's take a piece of land as an example. So if I take, uh, let's say, uh, looking for a big piece of land, uh, 65 you'll see that piece of land is only going to cost me £74,000. So land is very, very reasonably priced. So it doesn't cost you a lot at all. Uh, there are collectibles, and we will be uh, grabbing some collectibles. But the piece of land that we're going to take to start with, just get myself back in the right place, is this little slot here. Uh, in the original map, I'll show you in a second, there was in that space uh, a diesel tank. Uh, but it was stuck right in the middle. Here we are. This is a plot of land we bought. So we get a house. And because I've got the sleep anywhere trigger, that can be our sleep place. We don't need a, uh, a farmhouse with a sleep trigger because we got the sleep anywhere trigger in. But there was just about there, there was a diesel tank. Uh, which, in actual fact, of course, meant therefore that the rest of the land wasn't usable. Giant's editor always changes on the new update. And I've tried to edit this map by taking out all this ivy. Uh, the scrolling on the floor here. The reason I tried to take it out in map editor is that when you put a shed there, all the ivy just pokes up through the floor, which is a pain in the derriere. You can't paint it out, you can't plough it out. Somehow you'd have to do it in editor, and I can't work out now because it's changed so much uh, how you actually take all that out. But that, that's neither in there. So what we're going to do is we'll grab that. Uh, we'll grab that thing while we're here, and then there are some on top of here. I only know this because I had a quick run up here to look around the map. So up we go. Come on. Up you go. Oh. Do you know, I usually go straight up here when I've practiced. That's it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. And you see, they come in clusters. So what, they, what they've done, the map author's done, they've put them into clusters. So That noise is not going to get annoying, is it? <laughs> that wasn't too annoying. There you go. Jump down there. So we will stick a diesel tank on here again sometime, but we might stick it down this end. But we need to get a shed in somewhere, uh, because what we're going to have to do is... I'm just going to save at this point, uh, just in case... No, no, let's... Yeah, I'll just do a save, because we've got kind of the setup done. Uh, right, because what I'm going to do now is just try putting a shed in that I can put some bales in. Because the first thing we're going to get underway is we're going to have a do getting some hay done so we can start getting sheep in fairly early on uh, let's have a look 
He's finding a shed that'll fit for a kickoff. How's that one? Uh, 4,567. Let's just spin myself around a bit. See, like I say, it's got to be ahead of where. No, that's taking up quite a lot of space, isn't it? How's that one? Six thousand and eight. That's eleven. Well, that's four, five. Ooh, saw three then. Yeah, that's three. There'll be a bit of grass growing through there, though, won't there? Well, it might knock the grass out. Sorry, just spin myself around a bit. Yeah, I'm trying not to get grass growing through it. Just adjust it slightly. Looks a bit more on targets, just like I say, so I can put the hay bales under wraps and they don't get wet. Lovely. I will also put a diesel tank in. Oh, these are a bit smaller. Some don't hold very much. Oh, well, that's all right, isn't it? That'll do. Spin myself around again, because what we can do is... We can put that sideways on, like so. Oh, that and it got a grill goes tight up against there. That's it, because there aren't any sheds anywhere on the map, I don't think, where I can hide stuff. So until we get a big enough piece of land, uh, the equipment's going to have to uh, stay outside, unfortunately. So what we'll do first is we shall, like I say, we want to do some grass, but... Uh, yeah, we'll do the grass cut first. We'll join the fields together later. Because what we're going to do now is going to buy these two plots of land. And again, 5,676, that's all that's going to cost me. And these are grass, so they're not. Uh, I'm not waiting for these to be harvested. So we need to buy a tractor now. What's in the sales screen? Anything we need? Ooh, I don't know if we'll that drive it. Let's just have a look at mowers. If that'll drive it, that might just be what we need. Uh, what does that take? 40 horsepower. Oh, that one takes 60. What does that one take? 70 and 160. I know that doesn't work out that they're exactly uh, double each other. That one only takes 40. But that's only 2.4 metres. That might not be wide enough. That takes 60. That takes 70. Right, so let's try these two. So we'll buy that anyway. That's that one bought. And then we want, I want the Novacat cross floor because I want swathing. Right, so. Well, let's try the old, uh, the old Massey. It's really reasonably priced. Don't want to front load, we want GPS on just in case. So I know it's adding 15 grand, but it's still going to make it just 102,000, which you can't beat for 225 horsepower. See how it drives these mowers now. There it is. So this is the shop. As you can see, it spawns everything right down the bottom end, but it's, it's a huge area. Massive. We'll have to see if we find a plot of land nearby that we can buy to put sheds on now. Even if we sell it back once we uh, get our farm set up across the road. And this is just down the road from where our plot of land is, where that water tank is. <coughs> and that's where our small yard is at the moment. But I think, is it on this map where you get, or it might have been the other map. See, there's lots of ploughing jobs. Ooh. Yeah, but we could... Oh, yeah, we could do that plowing job. Because what we could do is lease the... Uh, that's only 5,000. That's the other thing, is that small fields means uh, small contract payback. So you don't get a lot of money back for your contract. So Yeah, I tried mowing that ivy. I tried plowing it. I tried painting it. Can't get rid of it at all. Whoopsie days. It's bad driving that, sorry. <coughs>
Yeah, so we're just waiting for that field beyond either to wither. Now, I'm not sure quite where our boundaries come now, so this is going to be a bit interesting. Let's just have a look. Oh, yeah, everywhere up the side of the path. Okay. So let's do that. Drop that in. Don't know whether we can mow down that side or we can. Oh, I should have done it in swath mode. Never mind. We're going to have to get a tether and ted it anyway, so so be it. So be it. Just come inside those trees. I'm not going to try and do every inch of the field. So I'm just watching for our boundary. Right, just before we get to the trees at the bottom. Should be able to spin about there now. How far down here do we go? Oh, hang on. Looks like it goes right into that uh, tree down there, but never mind. That's close enough for us. Once we've done the headland, I'm actually going to start swathing it. That's not doing so bad, this tractor. It's uh, a bit of a hill there. It just felt the pull up that hill. But how are we doing down here now? Oh, yeah, coming up to the edge of where our first field is, yeah. And like I said, we've got straight across anyway. Yeah, that's where the join was. So once I've moored it, I think you see where the join is and I'll get a plough out, we'll plough it up and uh, make the join, we'll avoid next door's crop. Pull ourselves up there, ooh, we're struggling there, isn't it? Around the edge of there like that. Turn off the front mower, swing in the back mower, and then turn off the back mower. Right, so, uh, swath mode, control Y, that's it, get to swath dropping. <coughs> and here we go again. in and chop him <laughs> <coughs> so yeah I don't know if there are other pieces of land that we can use once I've done a quick run round here got a bit of a headland I'll then put uh, then put a, a worker on it I know they'll run in a straight line different to me but that won't matter it's, it's all got to be uh, tedded and wind road so Get another round done. Just going to take a slight edge off here. Just try and get a bit of a straight line across there. Oh, flip! Not dropped the. I've not dropped the front lower. Back up. Back up. I think I've never done this before. There you go. In you go, and off you go. Perfect. Lift of the front mower. Drop it in again. Yeah, it takes some fair old power this mowing. 
it's not doing too bad. I've already got in mind the other tractor, it's not the Ford, so I took the Ford out. It, uh, it worked alright, but it wasn't wasn't quite the uh, finished mod, as you might say to me. Right, so once I've done this, we should be able to get... Like I said, it'll, be, it'll run slightly differently to me, but I can get the higher work going on it then. The annoying thing is they'll do one half of the field and the other half they won't. They won't jump the gap, which uh, if Mr. Species is watching, he'll find that very strange. That on his maps, they seem to kind of drive right across anything they like and just go onto the next field and plough that up or mow it or whatever they fancy doing at the time. But yeah, don't know why it. Uh, I, know, I only know this because I did a, like a 10 minute run, like I say, and just tried stuff out. Right, go. Yeah, they'll go a slightly different line to me, but that's fine. You're not more, get on with it. Right, we'll see which way they go when they come back. So let's just have an exploration of bits of land. So all that's growing. Uh, so what have we got that's done? Well, that one's done, but I can't put anything on there because I don't own that land yet. What's this bit of land here? Can we do anything with this? Oh, we can. Right, now how much is that worth? 16 grand. No, well, I know. Sounds terrible, doesn't it? He's only 16 grand. Right, so let's have a walk over then, see if we can get some sort of sheddage on there. Putting the mowers away and things like Oh, we've got this bit, have we? Oh, yeah. This is ours, isn't it? Or maybe not. Yeah, that's ours. Alright, so we can get a shed on there then. Ooh, like I said, we can always. Uh, don't mind if we put a few sheds up that uh, we don't use that much in later life. So let's have a look. Oh, we don't own the land. How odd. Do we not own that land? Are you sure? Show me. Do we not own this land? Oh no, it's way outside. It's it's part of this piece, isn't it? Which is no good to me. 28 we could own. Let's have a look at that. Has this not got a cell? It's got a cell point in it. Oh. oh, yeah, there's my diesel. This has got, oh, it's got sheds on it though, has it? Are they usable sheds? Right, well, what I'm going to do is, there's a collectible there. Uh, I might buy this and sell it again, so bear with me. Because if that door doesn't open, then there ain't much point. Nope, so we'll sell that straight back. Don't work. Yeah, we'll sell that back. So that's straight in, straight out. I need to know if that shed works. So that piece of land's no good to us, but that collectible is. And so is that collectible. We always like collectibles. Uh, is that a shed I could use? Well, the gate's open. Oh, look, it's one of them. Get close up and personal. Get that one grabbed. No, it's not a shed you can use either. Ah, but. Ah, but, yeah, but, no, but. What if, where are we now? We're across the road. Farmland. Can we buy that bit of land? Ooh. It's truth, the Murgatroyd. Right, so hang on. And what's that? What's clumped behind here? Oh, it's another. It's another thing waiting to be harvested. So that's no good. Farmland. Let's have a look. You could buy strip 30. That's got got houses on it so you could buy some grassland and tap but I don't really like just sticking things over grassland oh we didn't really look at that did we uh, right so cross over here again supposedly there's a bit of something growing there isn't there? there's a bit of land you can use for something but if we head here so we end up buying these houses, basically. We might even get rental income from people who are on our land. What have we got behind it? Oh, it's a bit of grassland there. Oh, what's that around there? Is that a shed? Is that somewhere I can park stuff? There's a cell point there. That water keeps flashing. Oh no, it's a picnic area. 
No, I think we're just going to have to wait now until such time as uh, as we can actually uh, get those piece lines. Oh, do you know I should have looked at the screen, shouldn't I? He's only done one strip. Oh, he's gone weird. What are you doing? Right. Take over again. I thought they were strange fields, so... Maybe once we've ploughed them together, that won't happen, but... We're going to have to do a bit of this ourselves. But next time we come in, what we'll actually do is we'll... Uh, do a bit of a map tour as well. I'll get a good look at it off screen. Because like I say, I only... Literally only uploaded it yesterday and edited it, so it's I've only really had one day to start looking at it. I'm not, I might not bother mowing those bits now. I wonder if this is going to say, does this set needs anything doing work wise once we've mowed it? Uh, stubble tillage. Oh, it says it needs plowing, but it always would say it needs plowing. Oh, it needs lime, so we could lime it. And if I take lime out. All right, yeah, you can fertilise it. That's good. I like that. Yes, I like the fact it can be fertilised. And if that's the case, then I'll do it off screen, but I'll plough all this up. If it needs plowing and fertilised and all that, I like doing things proper. So if that says I can plough it, then I'll get it ploughed, fertilised and all that jazz. Well, actually, we've got enough money to pay contracts to come in and do the uh, plowing for us. So we'll have to plough the bit in the middle, but... That'll be very nice. Once we've got that bigger bit of yard, then uh, we will have somewhere to put uh, sheds for storing things. Oh, now I wonder if I can sell the farmhouse off that plot. And if it allows me to delete things like that. So yeah, clearly that boundary between the two fields is what uh, is what's confusing the hired worker. Steady as she goes. This tractor needs some repairing, but we will put a workshop in next time. <clears throat> pull its legs up there now. So we will get quite a few bales off here, so we then start to put cows in as well. We may have to use a piece of other farmland to put uh, the animals in. Now because the worker was actually willing to plant uh, uh, because a worker was willing to mow this, that should mean that it may well be that they'll actually do ploughing as well on it. If not, then I'll do that off screen or not. Uh, this will be a fair old job. Might do a bit of a time lapse so you don't miss out on what we're doing. Yeah, you can see where he got to the end of that field and then turned around, but I don't. He's done little tiny bits. Oh, that's what he did. <laughs> I've worked it out now. He'll have turned around, started the next bit of the field, realised there was a gap. Turn round, then the next bit of field, realise there's a gap. Oh, that's all he did. He's just been jumping the gap. So he didn't stop. Or he hadn't stopped until I just noticed. He has been mowing, but one little tiny strips. So yeah, when you get a bit of a, a hill, just struggle a bit for the mowing, but nothing to uh, concern us too much. So as you're just on its power limit, the next thing will be to get a 
Tedder and tether it. That's why I like doing it in swaths because you don't need as big a tether. In 19, uh, when you it used to uh, do swaths from the mower, even when you tethered it, it still held it in the swath, so very often you didn't even need to windrow it afterwards. Literally, it, uh, it would leave the uh, hay still in swaths. <clears throat> Which I know is not quite politically correct, but it did for me. Not much to do on here new. Like I said, hopefully if we plough that uh, middle strip up when we turn this into a fully fledged field. So it might be worth trying to put a shed on the edge of these fields, because we do want a bit of the land on the edge of it. But whether there is enough to put something on the edge, I'm not quite sure. What a smart job that is. Yeah, you can see where he, he jumps the gap. Really odd. <laughs> We own both sides of it, so it's funny how it, how it kind of just jumps that little bit. But anyway, like I say, once we ploughed it, that'll be all right. So I don't think that other field that on the plot of land we want to buy is due for harvest any time soon. I think it's a fair while off before that's due for its job. But ladies and gentle persons, I've just glanced at the stopwatch on my little old mobile phone and uh, time has cracked on. I think we've kept you long enough, so we've given you a quick introduction. I wanted to get underway and get things going on this map so that we can start to get the, uh, the farm established. So thanks for dropping in, do all the YouTube stuff and we will catch you later.